Good morning, gentlemen. How's it going today? Well, good. how are you? Oh. <laughs> I know it's tough when you you guys are in different locations. So I've got I'm going to call you out so to make it a little easier for you. I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations, season two. How very very exciting. And Cinco, let's start with you because I want to know what you think it is why we are so obsessed with this show. I think the authenticity. At the end of the day, there's there's so much authenticity in the characters and what people are going through and people relate to it. I mean, anytime you have a dream, there are struggles to keep it, to get it on the rails and there's struggles to keep it afloat. And I think whether you are working in the medical industry, entertainment industry, or anything across the board, everybody can relate to ambition and, and drive. And um, we're authentic in that. And then, you know, you're retelling a story and it's a part of culture. Uh, you have the music, you have the dancing, you have the flair and the fashion. Um, so it's sexy at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that. Oh, man, I listen, that that era was my era. I loved Soul Train. I remember watching it as a kid. Okay, I'm not that old. But I was I remember watching it as a as a kid for sure. And it was so exciting to the music was just fantastic. And, um, you know, Jason, for you to be a part of this world and help recreate it, we'll talk about Gerald in a second, but just just to be there and, and you know, in the 70s, what's it, what's it like for you to, to live that life? Well, first of all, it's fun. You know, I always feel <laughs> like I, I, was, I was born in the wrong decade. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's so much fun. So yeah. Much freedom and the way people express themselves, it was it's so liberating to put those clothes on uh, and be able to do it to, to shoot the series. But in a deeper, from a deeper point of view, it's, it's it's such a great responsibility that I that I cherish and I'm happy that I'm I'm a part of of telling the legacy of something that was so pivotal uh, in American life, in American entertainment, in American politics even, and, and bringing a culture to the forefront. It's it's just really wonderful to be a part of. Yeah, I can just imagine. I, it looks like a, like you guys are having a lot of fun. I mean, I know there's a lot of drama. There's a low, so much going on in this show. And Cinco, you know, playing a young Don Cornelius, I mean, you can't dispute the fact what this man did for the industry, for music, for everything. Um, but he had a, a pretty, you know, crazy life. Like there was a lot going on in, in the background as well did you you know when you even when in season one when you first decided to take on the role did you feel any pressure and, and did you get were, were you a little scared a little nervous <laughs> i love you said it so it's just outright were you scared um were you scared i mean come know, on I know, were been. you scared <laughs> <laughs> um you know honestly it, it as much pressure i felt a responsibility i think when you step into the shoes of someone that has lived and has done so much. You just have a responsibility to give it your all and be present for them every day. And, and, and not to sound too actory, but to step into those shoes and just try to be as present as possible. Um, I, I took it as a goal of mine to make sure that I honored the legacy and I honored the family because we still have them living. And Don did so much. So I felt do as much as you can, be as present as possible, soak up as much as you can, be present for the character, but also your castmates and crew um, and if you do that, maybe you'll fall somewhere near the expectation that Don would have for you. Um, so more responsibility than pressure, but I definitely had to live up to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. And uh, Jason, you, you're playing a, a guy, Gerald Ames, you know, he's a club owner. He, he you know, he and Don have a, a, a an interesting relationship, uh, spend a lot of time together. But, uh, you know, this guy's got some issues. He's got some violence issues. Like, seriously? Come on. I'm sorry. What what did you say? I didn't get the last. That's okay, uh, uh, Gerald. He's got a he's got a few issues going on. Uh, maybe a, <laughs> a little bit of a violent streak. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he has a few. You know, he's he's what do you mean? He's just a regular guy, just trying to live life, and things keep happening to him. No, he uh, he's um he's a he's a very complex guy and he's he's a great example of you can't judge a book you know by its cover yes on the surface he's a he's a hustler he's a gangster i i consider him to be a um a hustler by nature a gangster by necessity um and and it, this season we really get to see the many layers of who he is and how worldly and intelligent of a man he, he actually is um it's it's just it's so fun, so fun to pull the onion back 
on this on this character and, and really see who he is and his relationship with Don is it's it's a real brotherhood. You know, there are ups and downs. There are some scenes where we don't know if they're going to come back from this. You know, some things are said, some <laughs> some actions are taken, but you just mm-hmm. don't know. Are they going? Are they going to be cool in the next episode? Because that was that was pretty harsh. Um, which I think makes the show exciting and interesting and real. Um, so it's it's just a great ride. Yeah. Um, uh, Sinqua, let a, tell me a little bit about or what viewers can expect from season two, because I, you know, I am really excited for some of the musicians, quote unquote, that we're going to meet that come, you know, like, you know, people playing James Brown, uh, Elton John, uh, Patti LaBelle. I mean, on and on and on. Can you give us a little bit of how you felt about being on set with some of these actors who are playing these legends? For all of us, that's the best day. And I think like, you know, for, for me and Jay as actors, it's like, those are the days where we get to sit back and watch. You know, Don does take part in in the hosting aspect, but that's always a quick cut, that's a quick shot. And then you get to watch these performances come to life and watch these people just jam out. Those are the most fun set days on set. I mean, you will see everybody from wardrobe to the producers to even if they work at craft service, everybody shows up on the set watching and we get to be a part of it. Kind of, we get a free concert every episode when we have a, a really great performance. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I would love to be there. It must yeah. just feel so real. And uh, yeah, you guys really do it up so well. Um, you, you've got this show down to it just, it's so fantastic and so much fun to watch. Um, so congratulations on season two. Let's hope season three is gonna happen as soon as we can all get back to normal. And uh, I just wanna thank you both for your time this morning. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.